Sega. In Conduit 2, um, we really put a lot of work into our online multiplayer mode um, so that people can play competitively online. Um, there's 14 different modes are available. Uh, loads of different levels are available. We, we created a bunch of new maps. We started developing our maps right from the very start. So we've got really good maps that play very well. And then in addition to that, we actually had uh, fans vote on their favorite maps from Conduit 1. And then we pulled those favorite maps over into Conduit 2, polished them up, set them up so they work better with the new technology. So there's a lot of different maps that are available for you to play with online. You can use different weapon loadouts so that you can choose different upgrades for your suit different weapons that you can take with you into the multiplayer game. And you could face off against each other using a uh, headbanger headset to talk to one another and just uh, have a great time blasting the heck out of each other. We do have a split screen competitive multiplayer and we're really proud of it. It's something that the first game we had multiplayer that we did right. We also wanted to have uh, um, that experience on a single, single system. Um, we've got a great campaign mode, we wanted a great split screen mode as well. There's this really cool new mode in Conduit 2 called Invasion Mode, and basically four people can get together and play split screen on the same console and uh, cooperate with each other to fight waves of monsters. And then as you're defeating all the different monsters, they keep um, coming at you uh, harder and faster, and, and as you defeat them, they give you um, credits that you can use to purchase items later in the game. There are over 20 different weapons in Conduit 2, each of them with their own unique firing abilities. They all have a primary and secondary fire mode. Some might have a charge mode, some might have a secondary like a scope, and then each of the weapons is tailored so that it works really well for the Nintendo Wii. A couple of my favorites are uh, the Arc Eclipse, which allows you to, the player to go invisible for periods of time. It's really, really a very stealthy weapon. Uh, the Aegis device is a lot of fun as well. Um, it's very neat. It's a shield weapon, collects all the armament of, uh, of the, the enemies that are firing projectiles at you, and then you can focus those and shoot them back at, at your enemies. And I would have to say that my two favorite weapons in Conduit right now are um, probably the Hive Cannon. Hive Cannon is cool because it's actually a living insect that Mr. Ford uh, pops onto his arm and you feed it um, an egg and then basically the egg hatches inside the, the weapon. And the great thing about this gun is that your enemies are really pretty helpless against you because you're just spattering them all over and uh, totally juggling them in front of you. And then another uh, weapon that I really like in Conduit 2 is the phase rifle. And uh, what's interesting about this weapon is it's a, it's a sniper rifle because in, in Conduit 2 we wanted something that was more like a sniper rifle. We wanted to do something a little different. So what we've done is, is uh, created a weapon where you can snipe on an enemy, but you can also snipe directly through a wall. Once you've targeted your enemy in front of you and you see him, you pinpoint him through the wall, you have to keep your reticle uh, range somewhere on top of that enemy until it phases into the enemy. Once it's phased, it's a single shot kill and just takes him down. It's a very devastating weapon. If you're playing in multiplayer, um, you know when you're being phased onto so that you can uh, get a chance to get out of that uh, player's range. So that way um, it keeps things a little bit more fair on the battlefield. It was really important for us this time to have genuine, legitimate bosses. In the first game we had uh, larger enemies, more hit points, but they weren't really multi-stage bosses. Uh, it, we really wanted that variety, we wanted to break things up, and, it, and I think we did a good job of it this time out. There are a number of really great bosses. Uh, the Leviathan is uh, definitely one that's tremendously cool. He's this big biomechanical snake that um, you know, you, you have, the player has to whittle away at. So he's, he's got these orange bits that flange out on him and you have to uh, pick away at him. Then he's got like another stage where you have to, uh, where parts of him become vulnerable and you need to smack away at those. And then finally you need to electrify him through completing a circuit of, of multiple electrified harpoons. Best of luck to you and your little round friend.